We bring you the news from NHK World Radio Japan at 8 p.m. Japan time on Sunday, July 16th. I'm Hirokazu Sakamaki. And I'm Yuka Matsumoto. In our top stories, people in the atomic bombed city of Hiroshima held a parade on Sunday, welcoming the adoption of a legally binding treaty to ban nuclear weapons. Japan's Toshiba is planning to expedite a deal for its flash memory unit by adding a clause to the sales contract. And Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called for a national unity one year after 250 people died in a failed coup attempt. Now the news in detail. People in the atomic bombed city of Hiroshima held a parade on Sunday welcoming the adoption of a legally binding treaty to ban nuclear weapons. The treaty was approved on July 7th at the UN headquarters in New York with support from 122 countries and territories. The United States, Russia, and other nuclear powers, as well as those depending on the nuclear umbrella, such as Japan and most NATO nations, did not take part in the talks. About 30 members of civic groups, as well as atomic bomb survivors, took part in the parade. They held large paper cranes and placards calling for a world without nuclear weapons, and marched for about an hour to the Children's Peace Monument in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. Japan's Toshiba is planning to expedite a deal for its flash memory unit by adding a clause to the sales contract. The struggling electronics firm has chosen a Japanese government-led consortium as its preferred bidder for the unit. But Toshiba's U.S. partner Western Digital says any deal without its consent is unacceptable. Western Digital has filed a suit in the U.S. seeking an injunction to block the sale. On Friday, the Superior Court of California held off on a decision. Toshiba has little time as it needs to complete the sale by the end of next March to rebuild its finances and avoid the delisting of its shares. But a Japanese public-private fund that leads the consortium says its investment is conditional on Toshiba settling the dispute with its U.S. partner. Toshiba is now considering inserting a clause in a sales contract that would allow an extension of the deadline for the settlement until the end of the sale procedures. Another factor that has been holding back a deal was the role of a South Korean chipmaker in a consortium. Sources now say arrangements have been made so that the company will join the buyout by providing loans. That's in line with Japanese government wishes. More than 2,000 people in Hong Kong have taken part in a silent march in memory of Chinese Nobel Peace Prize laureate Liu Xiaobo. The mourners prayed in silence for the pro-democracy icon and lit candles at a square in central Hong Kong on Saturday night. They then marched to China's liaison office. The participants are demanding the freedom of Liu's wife, Liu Xia, who remains under surveillance by the Chinese authorities. A man in his 30s said Saturday's news conference by Liu's brother, where he repeatedly thanked the Chinese authorities, was set up like a drama for mainland citizens. He said no one believes it was genuine. One of the march organizers said it made him angry to see the laureate's family still facing pressure. He said... Liu always acted peacefully and rationally against any adversity, and his supporters should remember his attitude and follow his wishes. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called for national unity one year after 250 people died in a failed coup attempt. Events to mourn the victims were held across Turkey on Saturday. In Istanbul, the country's largest city, a rally was held on a bridge that had been occupied by the rebel army. Erdogan gave an early morning speech in front of the parliament in the capital, Ankara. The building was airbombed by the rebels. Erdogan called the coup attempt an act of treachery that aimed to destroy the nation and civilization. 
He said he would never allow anyone to divide the people. The elder administration accuses the Gyulen movement of helping to instigate the coup. The movement was founded by a U.S. based Turkish cleric, Fethullah Gyulen, and had a strong influence over military, political, and business circles. More than 140,000 people have been arrested or detained. You are listening to NHK World, Radio Japan from Tokyo. People in Taiwan have marked 30 years since the end of nearly four decades of martial law, which included separation of civil liberties. The Nationalist Party, or the Kuomintang, imposed martial law in 1949 after arriving from the Chinese mainland. For 38 years, The Nationalist Party government suppressed opponents by severely curtailing freedoms of speech and assembly, as well as the formation of political parties. The government of Taiwan is now led by the Democratic Progressive Party. It held a ceremony on Saturday to mark the anniversary. The number of people detained or executed under martial law is said to have reached tens of thousands. But few details are available. President Tsai Ing wen has pledged to launch an inquiry. A 68 year old man who was detained when he was a junior in university said he still cannot understand why he had to spend 12 years at a detention camp for an unknown charge. He said he wants the truth to come to light. Japan's meteorological agency says the heavy rain that left dozens of people dead in northern Kyushu early this month were brought by ranks of thunderclouds, some as tall as 17 kilometers. The record rainfall of more than 400 millimeters hit narrow areas in Fukuoka and bordering Oita prefectures, western Japan, on July 5th and 6th. It killed at least 32 people. Around 2,000 rescuers continued to search for about 10 missing people on Sunday. Researchers at the Meteorological Agency analyzed radar and other data of the torrential rains. They said a rain band consisted of arrays of thunder clouds kept staying over the areas. It was up to about 100 kilometers in length. The length of the band was about half of a rain band in another disaster that hit nearby Kyushu areas five years ago. The 2012 rain disaster also killed dozens of people. But the maximum height of thunder clouds was 17 kilometers, three kilometers higher than in 2012. Researchers say a vast influx of vapor to a rain front as well as Cold air mass made the atmospheric condition very unstable, and that led to the development of thunderclouds. Finally, let's take another look at the top story at this hour. People in the atomic bomb city of Hiroshima held a parade on Sunday welcoming the adoption of a legally binding treaty to ban nuclear weapons. And that was the news from NHK World Radio Japan in Tokyo. I'm Yuka Matsumoto. And I'm Hirokazu Sakamaki. Please stay tuned. 